Hello everyone. So, can you see this book? This is one of my favorite books and the author is Paulo Coelho. The book name is Like the Flowing River and I'm going to tell you or narrate you a short story Rebuilding the House. You can see over here it's in the page number 101 Rebuilding the House. What I am expecting from you all is just listen to the story completely. Don't skip in the middle. because i'll be telling you how to give pauses when to give pauses so you have to notice all those things that i use in this storytelling i'll be telling you in detail the phrasal verbs used the new vocabulary used and how the author is narrating the story how he is going into the past and bringing it into the present it's not only a story but a motivational story that is going to leave you with some lesson Okay so please watch this video till the end so why to wait let's get started then so i'll be reading the story over here and you can see the lines over here now let's start the story an acquaintance of mine ended up in serious financial difficulties because he could never manage to bring together dream and reality see here a word is used acquaintance acquaintance means someone you know or someone who is familiar to you and it is used acquaintance of mine so min is used instead of my because my always takes an object after it for example my book my car and here author is saying an acquaintance of mine okay this is the reason mine is used now ended up in serious financial crisis means ended up means something you are telling about the result after a series of events something happens then you say i ended up in something okay so author is used ended up in serious financial difficulties why because he could never manage to bring together dream and reality maybe his dreams were very big very high and uh, reality was different that's why he couldn't meet his dreams and he couldn't bring together dream and reality now you can see how beautifully the author has managed to go into the past he has used could could is used when you tell something about the past so hope you know the difference between can and could now moving ahead worse he dragged others down with him harming people he had no wish to harm here you can see the author has used the word worse that means he wants to tell you a very bad thing happened and he dragged others down with him because he wanted to achieve his dreams he was chasing his dreams and in doing so he dragged down others with him that means he affected others with his whatever he did okay now harming people he had no wish to harm so he also harmed people in achieving his dreams but he never wanted to do that so hope you understood this line now i think it was easy now moving ahead to the next paragraph that says unable to repay the debts he had accumulated he even considered suicide so it's pronounced as debt so b is silent whenever you pronounce this word don't pronounce the word b it's debt not debt so hope the pronunciation part is clear to you so because he was unable to repay the debt he even considered suicide now how beautifully this word is used accumulated that means collected over time so maybe he had so many debts and it was accumulated over time and he couldn't repay the debt so he considered to do suicide so this is the meaning of this line hope you understood this now the author says then one afternoon as he was walking down a street he saw a house in ruins walking down a street means he was walking along the street so whenever you want to express something like this you will say walking down the street now he saw a house in ruins that means a house in ruins means the house was destroyed it was not in good condition hope you understood this thing further the author says debt building is my he thought and at that precise moment he felt an immense desire to rebuild the house do you understand why he called that building was me 
because he was also ruined he was also broken and the house was also not in good condition so he just compared himself with that house so hope you understood this line and when he saw that building he had an immense desire to rebuild the house because he was also broken and he also wanted to fix himself just like the house hope you understood this line an immense desire means a very excessive desire to do something now the author says he found out who the owner was and offered to carry out the necessary work the owner agreed although he could not understand what my friend stood to gain so you can see everything is going into the past that's why second form of verb is used so author uses he found out who the owner was okay and offered to carry out the necessary work to rebuild the house and of course the owner agreed and although the owner could not understand what my friend stood to gain here a word is used stood stood is the second form of word stand hope you know this stand to gain stood to gain that means what actually he gained so this is the phrase used with gain or loss for example stand to gain or stand to lose hope this was clear to you further he says together they managed to get hold of roof tiles wood and cement so here a phrase is used to get hold of this means to get something or to obtain something together they managed that means author's friend and the owner of the house so hope this line was clear to you now author is explaining that my friend put his whole heart into the work though without knowing why and for whom my friend put his whole heart when you put your whole heart into something you do it very passionately and you do it whole heartedly okay so you were very interested in doing that that's why you put your whole heart into that work and of course without knowing why and for whom you did this but as the renovation work progressed he felt his personal life improving so here a word is used renovation whenever some structure is ruined or it is not in good condition it is renovated or it is you know something is done to make it better for example your house is broken you will renovate it or you want to just improve the condition then also you can renovate it so here author is saying that as the renovation work progressed he felt his uh, friend felt that his personal life is improving just because uh, he compared his life his broken life with that broken house that's why when the house started renovating or improving he also healed along with it now the last line says by the end of the year the house was ready and all his personal problems had been resolved here a word is used resolve so how will you use it whenever there is a problem and you find a solution to that problem then you can say the problem has been resolved so try to use this good word resolve it is very important suppose you had a problem and you found out a solution to it you can say my problem has been resolved so this was the end of the story hope you enjoyed the story you got to learn something new some new words added to your dictionary and uh, from now on you will understand how to read the book how the past tense is used and how something is narrated and i would recommend all of you this book is very interesting so many motivating short stories are there if you could afford just buy it and i hope that you will make a sentence using acquaintance or phrasal verb that i told you get hold of and uh, ruins and then uh, there were so many good words so do comment me in the comment section and yes if you're not reading books yet start reading it's very important you get to learn so much you get to learn a new vocabulary you can enrich your vocabulary and be a good speaker hope you like this short and sweet lesson share it to others if you like it and if you are new to our channel don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon soon i'll be covering one more interesting story that will be a big one and it will definitely help you learn so many good phrases and help you apply those things in your day to day life stay safe stay healthy stay happy till we meet next time with a new and interesting lesson thank you so much